Welcome back to What Artie Noobs with Channel Disturbance. This is an M46 pattern. It's a tier 9 American medium tank and it's located on the north spawn of Abbey. And this is a replay from August of 2016. Now, what can I tell you about the pattern? Well, it's actually an updated version of a Pershing with a better engine and, well, better everything really. 90mm gun on the original patterns, but this one might have the 10.5cm gun, the 9 metal gun, which ha was proposed and actually was put on some patterns that were sold to other customers. Now, it's under the command, on this occasion, of Gitcher 7 of Phylox. Now, he's actually using the 105 Centimeter, uh, 10.5 millimeter, is it 10.5 centimeter? That's it. Uh, gun for this battle, and you can see that he's got uh, penetration of 218 and alpha damage of 390. Now he's got another M46 pattern ahead of him and an E50, and they're all in platoon together. Okay, so headed down the West Passage and he's decided to cut in. The E50 is staying at the junction and I think they're all in conversation with each other. There's a 416. Almost looks as if that tank has been flattened by something, jumping on it very, very hard. Okay, the pattern stopped off to make a few shots. And we're now proceeding back down the passage and we can see there's a Ferdinand ahead of us. And I think we're all going to line up and shoot them. Nope. Oh, there's a whole bunch of tanks. And we're getting round into the FCM. We're all forming a line to shoot at the enemy. Oh, and we're getting in the way of that uh, 416. And we're having to move in front of him to get shots on the enemy. Put a round into the side of the Ferdinand. Going for the T26, don't want to hit our own teammate. Yep, we get a good round through the T26 E4, super version. Go for another shot, yep, take him out. That's our first kill. Right, there's an FCM, oh, one round into him, but we took a hit. 396. It's not a lot though, and we got a T34, and we wipe him out, that's our second kill. There's the FCMs just around the corner. We bounced around over there. Got one round into the M103. Going to take the lead on that uh, FCM. And yeah, right through his front plate. 215 hit points. But we do lose our platoon. Um, well, we lost the Pershing. They okay, try and get around. And um, we got around into the M451. Uh, the tank behind us is getting in the way a bit. They go in and we take the kill on the M451. It's the IS-6. He's really being a bit of a nuisance here. He's trying to push past us. And that's not helpful. And there's the third land. And we take a big round from the third land. And we wipe him out. 671 hit points. Coming around the corner. M103. Nope. Going to go for the other one. We're going to cut across. And. We're going to side scrape off this corner. No, I think we're just going to poke round and put a round into the M103. Take him out. We took a round from the IS-6. Go for his lower plate and no, didn't get a chance to do so. Side of the turret, 460. We've got six kills so far. We've got the top gun. Right, the enemy appears to have made its way up the river road, the east side of the map. And we're returning to the cap as quickly as we can. And the rest of the platoon are doing the same. They're leaving the others to deal with the IS-6. He's managed to get enough damage out of him so far. Okay, we're going to take the lower area. The other M46 pattern's also gone low. E50's gone high. Okay, 
Now, if you've noticed in chat, actually, you might see purple chat. That's the enemy talking. Because this was back when you could talk to the enemy through chat. Okay, the enemy started capping. Got an Oho and a 4502 in there. And we've got a 1390s blocking, and he's just been taken out by our teammate. Okay, gonna try and get a nice bit of for the Oho now. Our platoon mate gets one in, and we're loaded, but we didn't get that one through. We loaded a VCR. We've also got an SD1 just off to the right. Ouch, that was an HE round from the OI, and we take him out of the game. Now, SD1, reloading, and we're ready. Okay, gonna push up. We've got the rock in between us and the SD1. One round in, 357. He's still a two shot. We need to pull up and get another one in. Oh, yes, we got one. 344 there. Low roll. Can we get another shot in? He's still a two shot, I think. Oh, now he's a one shot. T technically, he's a one shot. Can we get one round into him? Oh, and well, we got 432, but he's killed the very next shot. Taken out by our E50 platoon mate. So, there's only three enemies left to deal with. An E75 is in the Western pass uh, Eastern Passage, sorry. Uh, walker ball log near the cap, and that was the old walker ball log with the magazine. And a 3002, we got one shot into the E75. Our E50's moving ahead. Okay, we're going to move ahead, but we just spotted. Pulled back behind the tree, got around into him for 349. Gone back to standard AP. Gonna try and get around into the E75 again. Yeah, we do. 371. Find some another round in, but no, he's still a two shot. Oh, we got that one through. That was a high roll. 451. One more shot should deal that E75. Oh no. Yeah, we did get him. And that's it. That's it. Game over. We did it. Well done, Gitcha7. I hope I've pronounced your name correct. If I haven't, I do apologize. And here's the end of battle results. An ace ta tanker for Gitcha7 of Phylox in the M46 pattern. He also picked up a hand of God for, uh, for having receiving damage from four different enemy vehicles during the battle and surviving. Um, he got a bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits. He got ten. A duelist badge for getting... Uh, for taking damage from two different enemy tanks and taking them down. A fire for effect for dealing more damage than the hit points to his own vehicle. But with that last kill on the E75, he picked up a Radley Walters medal for getting eight kills. He got the high caliber for dealing the most damage in the battle and a top gun for getting six kills. So a particularly good set of medals there. Let's have a look at the uh, team scores. Well, he's right at the top of the table. 7,324 hit points of damage. Nick's highest scorer was uh, one of his platoon mates in the E50, 3,969. And after that came the IS-6 on the enemy team, who managed 2,776. And after that, his platoon mate, Golem 501, who managed 2,686. When it came to kills, it was definitely Gitcha7, who managed to get eight kills in total. Then we got a whole slew of tanks with two kills apiece. And when it came to base XP, again, he got the top of the table, 1659. Then came the E50 with 995 and the T32 with 899. He fired 27 rounds during that battle, got 27 direct hits, 23 penetrations. That's good accuracy. He got damage of 7,324 hit points, of which 3,311 uh, were at more than 300 meters. Sorry about that. Uh, received six hits from the enemy. Four of them were penetrations, most of those in the west, uh, western passes. Two were non-penetrations. He blocked damage of 630 hit points. He damaged 11 of the enemy, killed eight of them, and did damage assistance of 756 hit points. He also managed to get six defense points on the enemy who were capping at the time. On a premium account, he earned 95,462 credits, and this is for a non-premium vehicle. 
and after repair and ammunition resupply and he did use a fair bit of APCR he actually ended up with 42,553 credits he picked up 2,489 XP times 5 for the first victory of the day and for playing in a platoon he picked up another 373 XP so he took home uh, uh, 12,818 experience points altogether so a great battle there by Gitcher 7 of Philox Hope you really enjoyed this replay. If you did, please give it a like and do subscribe to our channel. And hopefully it'll be your replay that I'll be featuring in the next video.